Exactly. But also, also, Jesus is actually within you. You, you are right. no closer to him here. This side of heaven. This side of heaven than, than, receiving, than, communion. than receiving communion. I mean, you want to have a good, close, personal co conversation with God after receiving the Eucharist. That is Can't the perfect time. Yeah, think about this. This is yeah. the most holy object on the face of the earth. You, know, you watch Raiders of the Last Ark, and they're, they're looking for the Holy Grail. Like, ooh, yeah, the Holy Grail. Right. Well, this is far holier than the Holy Grail. Because it's God himself. It's God himself, and we get to consume it, and, and it becomes part of our being. Let me just do one more metaphor, and then we'll get to Mary if we have time. Well, that's a perfect segue uh, into Mary. It is. I mean, that, because oh, that's because Mary okay. Mary had Jesus within her yeah. for nine months. That's true. Okay, forget <laughs> my forget my. It was, it was going to be a great point, but we'll forget it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it All is. Right. That is a perfect segue. I was thinking All right. the exact yeah, same. Yeah, All right, yeah, speak. And, and, we, by the way, we only have six minutes left, so converse. Oh well, oh. I mean, uh, there was another segue as well that that I didn't take up is, is that we are actually adopted sons of. Of, of God, you know, through Mary. I mean, jo uh, at the crucifixion, Jesus turns to John, who's the only apostle that didn't run away, and he goes, yeah. uh, John, you know, behold your mother. Yes. And he goes to Mary, you know, behold your son. On the cross, yeah. On the cross. And in Revelation 12, it says that um, the, the uh, what was it, the dragon uh, went to make war against uh, the woman who is Mary and the rest of her offspring, yeah. mm -hmm. those who, uh, who, who who follow the Lord. So Mary's offspring is who? Us. All Christians. The body All of Christians. Christ. Okay. So if um, what do you got? Five minutes, Bob. Uh, Bill. Thank you. Um, all right. So then, Mary becomes not only the mother mother of Jesus, but the mother of all who are in Jesus. Absolutely. Now, I know that's sort of metaphorical language, but all Christians, when they become baptized and they're not in mortal sin, they are literally in Christ. Become it's like part, of the, body of part of the body of Christ. And that's where that metaphor, body of Christ, comes from. So Mary is the mother of all who are in Christ. Is that, do I have that right? All right. Absolutely. All Christians. All, all Christians. And actually, with that, just want to tie in a little Old Testament, New Testament. So in the Old Testament, we have Genesis 3.15. And so this is, you know, after, after uh, Eve bites the fruit and, yeah. and the deed's done, and, and God says this, Genesis 3.15, yeah. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed, he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. So who is the woman? That's yeah. the question. Skip forward to the New Testament, okay? And we have uh, Jesus using the term woman. Yeah. In reference to whom? His mother. Right. Okay, so we go over to... Ever notice why he never calls her mother That's right. or mom? Or, he always or, calls or Mary. Her woman. Absolutely. Yeah, it's woman. Absolutely. So we go to John, the wedding yeah. feast of Cana. Yeah. Specifically, we'll look at um, uh, chapter 2, verse 3 through 8. And it's important to read Jesus this. Jesus' first miracle. When the wine failed, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, O woman, what have you to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now six stone jars were standing there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the steward of the feast. So they took it. So what we have here is, one, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. If Jesus is God, perfect love. Yeah. Would Jesus, who's perfect God, perfect love, ever diss his mother and you say <laughs> no <laughs> absolutely right jesus would not diss his mother so why is he saying a woman yeah. what have you to do with me what what does it yeah what does this got to do with woman me? refers to genesis three fifteen. yes he's saying you are that woman yes who is her seed her yes. seed is the body of christ absolutely so mary is the new eve absolutely with genesis three fifteen. and by the way uh if anybody's ever walked into a catholic church well not ever but very often You'll see a statue of Mary, um, um, have with her foot and her heel over the uh, head a of a serpent. There. Yeah. There's a right. snake on the bottom of Mary's statue. That is Genesis 3:15, isn't it? Absolutely. He will strike at your heel, and you will. So, so you have Mary stamping out evil, but it's not really Mary that's doing it. It's the one inside of her. That's right. Her offspring and his offspring, the devil's offspring, those that are against God, are going to be in a battle until the end. So you're saying that Mary, being the new Eve, 
fulfilling Genesis 3.15. Absolutely. And just to go one step further, at the foot of the cross there, all right, but standing by the cross of he Jesus were his thing. mother, and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When yes. Jesus saw his mother and this disciple whom he loved standing next to her, yes. he said to his mother, Woman, yes. not mother, woman, yes. behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. I need to tie this up because we only have a couple minutes left. So the word, this very important word woman in the Bible is, is spoken, is, uh, is written uh, referring to Eve in Genesis 3.15. It's referring to Mary in, um, in uh, the, the wedding of Cana, and um, what, what did we just say here? Oh, uh, and the cross, wedding feast of Cana yeah, and, and the cross. And, and the foot of the cross. Absolutely. And then I just want to top it off with uh, Revelation Absolutely. chapter 12. Woman clothed with the sun. Where there's the woman clothed with the sun, um, with 12 stars, of course, representing the apostles. So, so we're talking about the church as woman also. You, so you have Eve Mary and church as this mystical, mysterious woman of which God is going to live through and save humanity. Absolutely. Eve messed it up, then it became Mary, and the personification, of Mary is the personification of the church, right? So we're not only, Eric, we're not only children of Mary, but we're children of the church. Yes, the church is a sacrament of salvation. So, so in other yeah, words, and I believe it's Galatians that makes and, that in, in a sense, the church becomes the new woman of Christ, hence the bride of Christ, and that just to tie up this whole thing, We've got, that yeah, bride, Eve, yeah. that bride in its consummation with his with his groom with her groom, is the Holy Eucharist, isn't it? Where they literally, yes. physically, become one in what is what could be called Eucharistic intercourse. All right. That's a wow. Don't give me any of this nonsense. Where we've had a profound point here. <laughs> 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 All right, folks, we have to leave, um, unfortunately. But uh, thanks for watching. This is beneath the surface, and uh, hope you enjoyed the show. If you have any uh, comments about the show, I, could you could you put on the email address, please, Joan? Our email address, and I want you to email us, is BTS Viewer Mail. All one word: BTS Viewer Mail at AOL.com. Could you put that up, Joan? Apparently not. BTS viewer mail at AOL.com. Thank you for watching, and uh, thank you, my guests, and hopefully we'll have you on some other time. God bless. Absolutely.